Edinburgh, Scotland's Golden Gum. As I walked through the ancient cobbled streets, there was a definite feeling of nostalgia. I had slept like a hog the night before, and I was thinking about ways to plop out some gigs. There was a definite spring in my bonnet as I pondered on how to avoid making this trip a do or duck. And then suddenly, a nugget out of the hat appeared as I gazed at this cathedral. The trams in Edinburgh will get you to your destination swift as a duck. On arrival, you'll be able to see all the snips and snaps and niggles and knacks. The buses in Edinburgh will keep you in good stead as you unravel all the nooks and crannies. This particular onion is definitely worth the squeeze. Here I am at the Royal Mile. I'm standing around like a lamex, but soon I'll be hopping like a hoblet. Some people might ask you, what in blazes are you doing? Some people might gorp at you like sardines. As I gorp at the clock watchtower, I felt sun blobbed. Carlton Hill, a fine wine, but I wouldn't smell her for dust. Eating out in Edinburgh is definitely part of the course, but these eateries didn't rustle my feathers, so I decided to kick two birds with one stone and go into KFC for some authentic Scottish food. I became as thirsty as a pooch as this chicken lashed onto my taste buds, but I was soon lapping it up like a lapdog because this chicken flowed like butter. My knowledge of the city was bubbling up like a bubbly sue, and I was unable to rub soap into the wounds. Sadly, Princess Street was a bit of a flat flump, so I'm off to the scalpies next. Scrap the scalpies. Exit this art gallery where nobody out there will say goo to a boose. A trip to Edinburgh Castle will definitely add spice into the loomings. But I think I'll just stare at some tartan, even though I'm a goiter short of a ceiling. Sitting at this quaint Edinburgh cafe without a cup of coffee in my hand certainly wetted my salivating gunnels. I had crayoned in going to Dean Village, but instead I came here to this damp squid. I was as mellowed as a marshmallow, and then I encountered a snake in the glass.